Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Factorio. So, off camera, I finally got ourselves an automated blue set up here, and I was actually thinking, you know, I could do with some red, so I was thinking maybe I'll uh, set up that now too, just so I have uh, the reds also automated over time, and uh, I can grab whatever I need here. So I'm going to put you here, you here, and you here, I guess, and that should work. And uh, we'll use the long arms here and long arms here because this is over time like the idea is you know This will be you know Filled up over time see I use a steel one, but I'm not gonna even use the, the, the you can be full and you can go up to say there um, But anyway, so you got a lot of uh, the Gears there and then you got the little motors and then basically everything's kind of flowing in its weird way and in the end, uh, it gets all through here. You got your lubrication, and then it gets in here, and there you go. You got the uh, the beautiful uh, blue uh, belt setup, or blue everything, basically. Express splitter, um, the underground one, everything. So I'm really happy about that, because I know we've been a little lazy on that. So it's about time we finally uh, got some of that automated. So there you go. And that's the nice thing. If you buffer it kind of decently... Even if you went in and shoot up a bunch of reds or a bunch of blues, whatever, the idea is if you buffer them out decently, it doesn't matter, you know, um, by the time you're there next time, they should be both full anyways, and uh, it shouldn't really matter too much. But, um, yeah, uh, we're going to look into nuclear today. That's, that's the goal here. But we're going to do quite a few cuts because, obviously... Um, we're gonna want to <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna have to do a lot of work for that uh, including some new stations things like that so um, I wanted to show you by the way we I figured out how to toggle it was in the uh, the bar here uh, it was just way at the top that's why I couldn't find it also if you're wondering how you get more bars I decided I'd try it you know be a little more organized uh, you can go to settings interface and you can turn on the amount of shortcut bars these guys here and the active quick bars or actually I think so right yeah 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 so there you go. Cool. So let's go down here. Um, I've upgraded. I basically placed down these little uh, guys here. This is hopefully to help balance it a bit more. But uh, basically my iron now is all three are being smelted now. And if we go all the way down here, you can see they're all three. Actually, I guess that's a good way to see if it's balanced. <laughs> I'd say that's doing a pretty damn good job of balancing, oddly enough. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's that's pretty cool to see that anyways down here is a, a bigger balance basically We're taking six with a six output the reason we're doing a six output is we follow it We got one two and three now steel production going so I thought eh, maybe it was time that we update that because when we were using a lot of science Basically this stuff was getting owned um, Here is my copper by the way and both the iron and copper have three trains set to it Oh, this guy wasn't supposed to take damage. That might have been me accidentally. Where's my repair? We're going to move them in different locations. See, now I'm going to never know where they go for them. Oh, I should have put it there. There you go. Maybe, maybe I will put you guys here. We'll see. I can always put you guys down here. Keep it a little cleaner down there. So I don't even have room for my red belts, but whatever. I just thought I'd try it. I could do more bars, but I think I'd go crazy. But uh, yeah, pretty much that's what I did off camera, and I also set up some new outposts here. So I got the copper outpost here, uh, a new copper outpost. I got another new iron outpost. That was those. And then I think this was new. I don't know if we saw this together or not, but this was a new copper outpost here. So we have four copper outposts in total and four iron outposts in total, which is pretty nice. Um, we got our original oil outpost here, so I put a couple of, not many, but I got two, I guess, maybe? Just two beacons in there full of the upgrade twos. And then I went ahead and set up two more oil, I believe, right? Didn't I? Or is it, was it just one? Maybe it was just one. Oh, no, it says oil three. Oh, here it is. So oil two up here. So these guys are getting oil two, and this guy's full right now. And then down here, you got oil three here. And uh, I think I have a third oil train as well. I'm guessing this guy's at oil one right now. Oh, yeah, you are. So um, obviously oil two, I guess, is or oil three, sorry, is here. So yeah, oil three. And he's busy there. And I don't think I've done anything new really here. I might have added a couple more beacons. I forgot how many we originally added, so I'm not sure. Um, but uh, yeah, so oil has been pretty good. Everything's backed up now anyways, mostly for the fact that we're done researching. The only research I have left, which I've already put... I guess seven levels into which keeps exponentially increasing quite ridiculously uh, is the swarm safety which is 
Um, logistic belt, uh, bots won't damage things when they crash if they are in a logistics network with up to 500 active logistics bots per research level. So if this is if this is somewhat true, what is that like 4,500 bots? Yeah, so that's a lot of bots. I don't think I'd ever need that many anyways, but it's more like I just didn't want to keep burning on the one research because I know we eventually need to get off this planet, but uh, I also wanted to kind of experience and do a bit of everything. So I like to go and touch nuclear and then I like to play with the core miner and I want to just do a few more things on the planet before we're ready to basically jump up into space. So uh, my plan is to bring nuclear down here. So well, not there. Sorry. Right over here. So this is going to be our new nuclear area. Already kind of platformed it there a bit. And uh, so, yeah, the idea was to do nuclear here. I just thought it'd be fun to separate from the base a bit. Um, I'm also going to bring iron. Now, I wasn't sure where I was going to bring this in yet. I had debated maybe doing it over here and cleaning this up and then having iron kind of shoot over here. So I need some iron plates, I believe. I don't know if there's other material, but I was thinking over time what I might be doing is setting up a train setup. Something similar to this, maybe a little... Uh, Maybe a little smaller or cleaner or something like that. But anyways, the idea is it would be the base resources. So you got iron plates, copper plates, things like that. And it would it would just take it to other places that I need them over time if I do need them. And uh, I thought that might be just a fun little uh, thing to do. So uh, that's not quite, uh, you know, fully done or, you know... Uh, you know, nothing's even set yet. I might even bring it up here, to be honest. I was thinking, okay, I could do it here, drain off the iron from here for now, and then um, eventually, if I want some other materials, I'll do that. Because right now, all I need is iron. It would just only be for this nuclear setup. So, honestly, um, I had no other plans for any other materials. So, yeah, we'll see, right? Um, and then our first nuclear patch, which I need to make an outpost, is going to be here. Don't forget, we also have this little patch over here, which I'll grab too. Um, I'm not sure if I'll grab that this episode or not, but uh, I'll definitely want to grab that as well. So uh, it's a very small patch, but uh, basically I'll run up there and uh, we'll start uh, making a small outpost. And then uh, we'll look further into the nuclear. So I have some ideas what I'm going to do for nuclear because I kind of did some re you know research and things like that. Uh, basically, we're going to need um, we're going to do a four reactor setup. And so the idea with the four reactor setup is basically we're going to need four nuclear reactors here. So these are the nuclear reactors. They take only eight seconds to craft. So none of this is actually very, um, it's not very expensive if you think about it. I mean, it's a bloody nuclear reactor, right? I mean, it's somewhat expensive, but we're not like, oh my, you know, you're, you're broken the bank kind of idea. Nothing close to that, obviously. Um, but uh, there you go. So we got that. What else do we need? We need lots of copper. And we're going to need lots of steel. Let's go grab the steel out. Actually, I don't even think that exists anymore, does it? Where is our steel? Where? Oh, this is our steel, yeah. I don't think that exists anymore. You remember we had a chest with steel at one point? <laughs> I don't think I have that anymore. Basically, if you want steel, you just you stand right here, basically. Whee! <laughs> or maybe even in here somewhere. This might be a good spot. But, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't really have, uh, much of a steel, uh, thing anymore. But, uh, there you go, my... I mean, with the speed of, uh, what we have now, I think that would work just fine anyways. So, there is that. And then we're gonna need lots and lots of concrete. So, you might want to get rid of some of your extra belts here. I don't need most of this anyways for what we're doing here. I need some red for the outposts. Um, I actually might need the piping more than anything, to be honest. Because you're going to need water and stuff like that anyways, but I'm just thinking just temporarily even. I'm going to need those miners, but I don't think I need a lot from the looks of it. Okay, and then we're going to need the concrete down here. So that's this chest here. And then, uh, yeah, so let's see. One nuclear reactor, and then we're out of copper. <laughs> yes, it's a very expensive uh, recipe. Okay, uh... The Two nuclear reactors. Now we're out of steel. There you go. Three nuclear reactors. And now we're out of concrete again. And then four nuclear reactors. Okay. So just for fun, this is what a nuclear reactor looks like. You might as well, you know, show you. They attach too. So they have um, a neighboring bonus, it's called. 
And so I think it went up like 100% or something. I think you'll see it once it's like up and running. But basically, when you put them together like that, it runs really well. Um, and then you can even, you know, if you were to scale it, you could actually do quite a bit with the scaling of it. I'm not bothering to do any scaling at this time. I'm just going to have like a separate, you know, just a four nuclear or whatever. If I want to take it down and change it down the road, I might. Um, but it's just for starter. And then what I might do is excess uh, steam engines later on, turbines, for... Um, the reason I might do excess amount of those is actually for the... Um, buffering for the CME when it comes hitting us. Uh, so if I make enough buffers, basically, we might be able to protect ourselves more. Another thing we're going to need is the centrifuge. Um, I might make a bunch of those. Why not? Because uh, we're probably going to need a bunch. And this is where actually you're going to require, I think, a bit of iron for this, potentially. So uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some gears. There you go. Um, so there you go. Yeah, we'll do four of them. Why not? Okay, so this is a centrifuge. And this is, I believe, basically what processes and makes your uranium. So uh, you got your uranium ore coming in here. And it has a 0.7% chance to create uh, uranium-235. And it has a 99.3% chance to make uranium-238. Uh, basically, that uh, the uranium-235 is where you want. And then there's this other uh, one called um, the Corvex, and you have to do a loop, basically. This might be something I have to screw around with, like cut, do cuts and stuff till I figure it out. But basically, you give it 40 uh, uranium-235, so you have to give it 40 of the, the, the rarer ones. And then you put 5 of the uranium-238, so the ones that uh, you get lots of. And basically, it will take the 5, uh, and it'll give you one single uranium-235, which that's fine, right? And so the idea is you take five and actually you take three because you get actually two back. So you take three uranium-238 and you convert it into one uranium-235. Uh, so you basically do some sort of loop process on that. And that's pretty cool. And then you can also take uh, re like used up uranium fuel cells. Uh, so the uh, nuclear, uh, so this is the... Uh, the the two this would be the two three five uh and then basically you go ahead and turn it back into two three eight so now you're actually earning uh, you're not duplicating because you're losing some you know obviously a bit but actually uh oh it takes five of them sorry yeah so five of them gives you three so yeah obviously you're definitely not getting anything but you know, in the long run, you're, you're getting more back. I don't know all the numbers and percents, but it's awesome. And then I guess you also have to make some of it in here because I did not see the one, which I'm not sure where that's done. So let's see if we can find it here. Oh, here it is. So this is uranium. Oh, wow. I did not realize. Oh, it creates 10 cells, though. Okay. Wow. What? And that's a uranium fuel cell? Really? I did not realize it was that dense uh, or like that good of a recipe. So you only need one, two, three, five and 19, two, three, eights, and you will get 10 uranium cells. Interesting. I didn't even know that uh, it used it that way. Okay. And then that's what you would feed. As far as I know, that's the, the one that you actually feed into the reactor itself. And then uh, they last, I don't know, a minute or something like that in there. Uh, but uh, that's pretty cool. So that's the one that you need the iron plates anyways for. So um, that's why we're going to need a shipment of iron plates. So that's basically your two, the two machines you're going to use for the processing and creation of your fuel. Now, there was also this one in here. Um, you need solid rocket fuel, which uh, we don't have yet, but this is great uh, fuel. You can do a 1.21 gigajoules. How much is this one worth? Uh, 8 gigajoules. So funny enough, the rocket fuel is uh, a bit different. But uh, anyways, you can create this one and get a vehicle acceleration up to 250%. So great for um, your uh, rail, like trains and stuff, but probably also great for like your vehicles, like uh, the tank, for example, getting a little extra boost and stuff like that. I'm not sure if there's other great things you can use it with, but obviously that's pretty cool. So... Um, and then uh, what else we're going to need for, so we, we talked about the reactor itself, the processing. Uh, now you need turbines as well. We're going to need, uh, what I have it written down here, what was it, 88 turbines. Yes, it's a little expensive. 
Um, so if you look here, uh, where are they? Here he is, steam turbine. So pretty simple, just uh, 30 gears. Oh, we're going to need some of those. I guess we're going to let them make it. Uh, you're going to need a lot of pipes, a lot of gears, and a lot of copper. And basically we need uh, 88 of these. So I might just, uh, you know, automate this one just because it's painful. Um, we'll see. But uh, you let that craft and uh, you place these guys on the ground. So... There you go. So this is like your your other. It'd be like these guys right here. It'd be like one of these, but a different, a different one, obviously. I'm not sure if you can actually use them at all, uh, interchange them in any way. But uh, there you go. So this uh, consumes 60 steam a second, I guess. And uh, I don't know how much steam it holds, because that's that'll be important for buffering, actually. So um, that's kind of interesting. I don't know how much it would hold. And then uh, it provides 5.8 megawatts of power for one single turbine. So that's pretty pretty powerful. Um, but remember, we'll have 88 of those. So this thing will be like 480 or something megawatts. And then the uh, last thing we're going to need, basically that's uh, new for us, um, is actually, no, there's a couple of things we need. Because we need these guys too. You need the heat exchangers. That's right. I forgot about the heat exchangers. So you got these guys here. Where are you? There you go. So this is like the, um, well, this would just be like the boilers, basically. So you have the, uh, you got these guys here, and then you got this. So this is the heat exchanger, and then this is the turbine. I'm just showing you what it would be nuclear-wise. So that's the same idea here. So you got your water going through here. You got, this is the heat exchanger. So you see this metal? This will actually connect to the reactor itself. So if we place the reactor down, and you place, uh, where did you go? It's red. There you go. Basically, they connect, and that, that's how the heat is exchanged through that. And then the last thing is actually the heat pipes themselves, so not too bad. We just need a few things uh, crafted here. Uh, these are the heat pipes. So we're going to need, uh, I guess we'll need, like, what, 44 heat exchangers? I, where did I write that one? Yeah, 44 heat exchangers. You're going to need about 65 or, you know, so of the uh, the heat pipes. And basically, we're going to be making, like, a low-latency UPS. So um, this is the UPS here. Uh, the game likes to tick at 60. That's like the simulation speed. So if it says, you know, under 60, like 55, for example, it literally means that your simulation is running slightly slower. So uh, let's use the easier math. If it was running at 30, not your FPS, but the simulation here, if it said 3-0 instead, basically it means you your game is running at half the speed of normal speed, basically. <laughs> so that's what the uh, UPS part means anyways. But we should be fine there. So um, what was that? F5. There you go. So, yeah, that's uh, that's basically those guys. So I'll figure out what I'm going to do for a bit of the automation there. But I'm going to work on the uh, those outposts as well. And then we'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, this is really cool. I thought there was a bug at first. You know, this is the normal uranium look. But I wasn't noticing that first. And then I was trying to place, or not uranium, but miner look. And then uranium, I was like, what's going on here? Like, I was like, why is there pipes on here? I'm like, oh, was there an update or something with, like, the mods or something? Something broke. And then I realized, oh, you need sulfuric. If you place down here, it'll actually say you need sulfuric acid. So you require sulfuric acid to actually mine the uranium. So that's actually a really cool little mechanic it also throws a bit of a curveball because i had planned on bringing everything down to here and then this is you know where we process it but now our sulfuric is somewhere else so what i could do and i might do is all the separate train for sulfuric acid maybe that drops by and then i'll have one for uh the cargo itself potentially i mean that might not be a bad idea um, or I can use the same one. So I'll have one that picks up sulfuric and makes a round trip for the uranium too. We'll see how it goes. Uh, that might be the one I might actually do. Just do uh, a round trip type train or something. Uh, but really cool uh, feature there anyways. So uh, yeah, so here's the uranium. Let's go ahead and uh, place these down then, I guess. We'll just uh, do the looking, placing these down. So I guess you need these uh, gapped a bit differently, huh? <laughs> Oh, they do. Oh, they travel through it. Okay, no, we're good. Awesome. They do travel through, it looks like, so we don't have to worry too much then. Yeah, I was worried, like, oh, the sulfuric, but it does pass through, uh, it looks like, so they didn't make it a painful uh, process, so that's cool. So there you go. That, that would be that, and then um, you can go ahead and just do your normal... Um, your normal belts, right? So we go ahead and uh, we'll just do belts out here. And then you have your belts over here. 
And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and then pump the sulfuric, obviously, directly into uh, this, which I think I got rid of. Yeah, I got rid of my underground ones, but that's fine. I'll go get those after. And so I decided, well, since there's uranium right here, I'll grab this and I'll grab this. I'm going to grab them all. So we'll just do little pit stops at all of them, I guess. And uh, that should at least get us a bit of extra uranium. And I might just do a timed, you know, I'll just stay here for a few minutes or whatever, not even, and then move on. So looking if we found any other patches of uranium, I don't think so yet. Just those tiny ones. The other ones are much bigger, but I mean, that one is bloody. Actually, wasn't there one? Ah, here we go. This one in here. So there's uh, 40, yeah, 100, almost uh, 140k, I guess you could say, basically, or le less than that. Yeah, a little less, but uh, yeah, I'll grab that one too. So yeah, basically, I'll go ahead and set these up, and uh, ooh, we're going to have to go. I turned off my light so you can see uh, see the glow on it, So, um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go ahead. I don't even need that anymore. Okay, I do like this still. It helps bring out even more light to it. But, uh, yeah, I might as well grab that. Darn it, what an annoying one. I hate when you get the annoying ones like that. It's like, ah, you got another little patch there. So, obviously, you just put it on here, and then you'll just... Actually, that's not so bad. And then you just go ahead and put those together, right? So, and then I guess I can just put these together. And then you have your underground belt go wherever. And then these two obviously merge. And then uh, there's your, your thing, and you hook it up like normal. So, I think I'll do that. I'll do uh, one cart with the cargo and the other cart with sulfuric acid. I think that'd be kind of fun. Anyways, uh, ooh, I, uh, I did something. Oh, I didn't do this right there. Never mind. That one was going to be a pain in the ass. It was going to be a pain. I knew I did something wrong, but that's fine. We can go like this and there you go. There you have it. Awesome. I love it. Okay. We'll, uh, I'll work on those outposts and we'll be back in a few. Okay, so this will be the setup I think I have here. So I'm going to use just one tank at least on this one because these hold 25k. I looked it up and it says uh, it should be 10 sulfur for 10 ore if you have productivity like the 20%, which pretty sure we have that from mining. Actually, it's 30%. Uh, you'll actually get 13 uh, uranium per 10 sulfuric acid. Well, this will hold 50 or 25k sulfuric acid if I, require, if I re, uh, remember the tank amount, right? So, yeah, I think we'll have more than enough here, even one load, but uh, actually two loads, I guess, because there's like 50k or so here. But uh, anyways, I just didn't want to overgo uh, load it with tanks, and we can make the train move around a bit more if we need to, so... Uh, and then, yeah, obviously we have the train. Let's do it down here for fun. So we'll put our train here. Um, and then we're going to do tank. And then we're going to do the cargo thingy. Mabopper. There we go. And this will be going to... I guess we need to name the station, huh? So this will be uh, outpost. And then your... Oh, we we'll use capitals. Uranium... And then we do pound one. There you go. So there's our first one. And we'll, we'll just send it there now. Usually I like to put the uh, base there first, but it doesn't really matter, honestly. But uh, just because that's the only thing here now. And let's get fuel. I got to get a little closer to that. There you go. So there you go. And then it'll come back and go this way later on. Obviously, there's no fluid. And there's obviously no uranium yet to lo load it in there. But uh, now all I have to do is set up the sulfur stuff. So um, I might go ahead and do more of the outposts off camera. Uh, like, you know, like after the episode. And then just deal with this. So I think what I'm going to do is deal with the base part now. Um, now, we do have to grab, obviously, because, ta-da, we learned about this. We're going to have to grab the sulfuric acid somewhere. So... I do have an opportunity to grab sulfuric acid up here, and uh, um, and the reason that is is because of our own little thing here, which I have him stuck. I was going to use him to get to the other outpost, but I should probably bring him home. By the way, you do have the train interface here, right? So you could go to your home one here and basically turn his... Uh, you know, send him home so he'll he'll start moving. I had him basically kill the whole uh, train network, but it didn't matter anyways because... Uh, um, it didn't really matter because uh, I'm not really using much throughput anyways, but uh, obviously I want to send him home, so there you go. 
So this is our oil outpost obviously over here. So we could go down here and use this one, but what I was thinking for now, what I might do, uh, especially since I create sulfuric acid within the base is, well, let's just literally do it within the base itself. Uh, and then that way we have it there. And I might even get, just to be on the lazy side just for a bit, I might even consider getting the, uh, the iron there as well. Um, just for fun, right? So if we go over here, this might be a good spot. I was thinking in this, oh crap. Well, we're gonna dynamite you, or cliff explosives, or whatever you. There you go. Um, so I could probably do something in here, uh, or some things like multiples, and just have uh, one of each, basically. A little station set up for what I need. So I'll get our iron on there, and then I'll just pump the sulfuric acid, which we should have down here. Um, and we have quite a bit. I don't know if I'm going to need more. I might have to redo this later. Who cares? But uh, uh, might not be a bad idea. So I'll play around with this, make some new little stations here, and we'll be back in a few. Okay, so I think I have this set up. So I have the iron coming up here, and I have uh, this will be for the iron we'll need. And I'm doing a simple setup here for that. And I've blocked it, you know, using the little X down here. So it's only got uh, uh, 80, I guess, stacks in there. Uh, in the two, but I still like the chest just because you got uh, you don't have to do the individual chest, right? Uh, and then I got the sulfur set up here and then our guy here can still come here and do his thing So we'll send him back home and Let's see what we can do about this other train here then so um, The uranium one here is gonna have to go to <laughs> We don't have the station yet, but obviously it's gonna have to go there and we could add it at weight condition so times pass let's say Let's just do the 120 for everything and then we'll add a station uh, here and then normally I'm going to probably go home uranium first and then wherever um, I don't have a station down here yet I don't think so there is no yeah there's no station down there yet but then uh, we're going to want it to go to station sulfuric acid and then uh, we'll just say um, times pass literally I'm not gonna even care about it's uh, or you could do both right so it's uh actually that's not a bad idea you can do both either full or whatever that makes some more sense so um crap uh, I probably lost it from that okay it, it probably just stopped because it doesn't know what's going on now okay so um uranium blah 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 um I guess the other one you'd probably want to add to this one is Let's just confuse the hell out of it. There you go. Uh, okay, so normally it would go to, uh, let's say uranium. Where's uranium? There you go. And uh, full cargo or, uh, oh, so it's gonna try to take oil, but somebody's in oil right now. You're dumb. Um, and then uh, time has passed. And then we'll do, we'll just do the 120. And then we'll go to sulfuric for now. I'll probably do a different order later on, but whatever. And then full or fluid full, I guess. I guess full cargo is the same thing, really. And then time's passed, and then uh, same thing again. There you go. And that way they kind of keep moving here. This guy, he might sit here for a long time, to be fair. Because none of these have, uh, yeah, look at, you have to wait till that. Actually, he's, he's slowly going there, but we'll just kick him out of there so he can go and do his thing. There you go. Let's make sure we're not on a track or anything here. Okay. So he's just going to swing through here. And then he'll go back to the uranium. Which then, obviously, he's going to time out here, right? Like, you have to wait for him to stop because it's, there's nothing going in here. So then we tell him, okay, and you've passed that. 120 seconds has happened. So we're going to, I should put a radar there. Derpy. And then uh, we're going to have him come back to our new little sulfuric setup here. And then he should legitimately be able to mine sulfuric acid. Uh, or not sulfuric acid, the uranium. I might have broken. Oh, yes, I have broken this. Broken this. Nice English there. I have not put any signals in here yet, so uh, that's not always a good thing, obviously. So, there you go. I should put one lower. There you go. This doesn't really matter too much. And then you have one in each of these things. So, you got one here. And then you can have one after it. 
And then you have one before this and one after it. Well, you're not going anywhere anyways with that, so that doesn't really matter. You got uh, one... Was there one here? No, there wasn't. I guess you have to put it... Oh, this is coming in, so it doesn't really matter, to be fair. Okay. And then... Uh, Out. Just before doesn't really matter too much, but whatever. We could do, do the just befores anyways. Oops, this would be the just before here. That's because it's full of trees, I guess. Here, huh? There you go. Oh no, this is coming in. Why is that? Oh no, I did one there. Okay, there and there. Okay, so here, here, and there. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then that's coming in, and then coming out is over here. So this is your coming. Oh no, I did these backwards, didn't I? Oh god, this is confusing. Okay. So I did this wrong, right? No? Oh no, this is the thing. Man, it's just the loops are so big, it's like throwing me off. So zuzu, right? Anyways, we gotta fix this part. If we fix this, it'll be a really easy fix and done anyways. So we can just put you here and you here. Watch out, not get run over. That should solve it, no? Oh, you're already in there. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so then um, you're done. Why are you? Oh, okay. So you're gonna have to change this. Okay, so let's stop this, or let's actually actually can reset it like that, anyways. But let's just manual kick out of here, just so we can redo this. So um, full cargo has to get out of here. Um, Uh, equal or greater than sulfuric acid to the max, I guess. Okay, so 25. I think that's the max, right? Is that uh, what it gets to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that should work. And then, then you can add your weight condition or time has passed. And then we do the... There you go. Let's see if that goes and stops. There you go. There you go. Turned into yellow. I love that train coloring mod. So, sulfuric acid. And I turned off. I had to go in and find the player files. But basically, um, mod settings and per player. Was it per player or was it uh, the map? Oh, it was the map. Unpaint uh, locomotives. Or uh, unpaint trains is the one I did. Because what would happen is if it emptied its load, it would unpaint it. And then it was derpy. And it was like, ah, crap. Uh, anyways, this should be filling this up. Oh, yeah, there's uranium actually legitimately happening. So there you go. So now this one will wait 120 seconds, obviously, and or head back to the, you know, thing. And then obviously then we're going to add our uh, the, the uranium uh, base mixed into this. So that's actually pretty cool. This works out really well. And, uh, yeah, so uh, excellent. So there we go. We got uranium. This should hold like crap ton. Yeah, we're going to be more than fine for a long time now. Don't forget there's also a bit of a buffer on these guys. But uh, yeah, sulfuric acid. Yeah, it uses very little. So cool. Now, if you're smart, and I'm not smart, and maybe I should do that. We should use productivity modules, honestly. Because holy fudging crap. Yeah, I've already gotten killed by trains like two or three times. They literally tell you they're jerks. Devs are jerks. Uh, they will actually tell you. Uh, and train kills zero. Train kills one. Uh, I, I know I have at least two train kills. And I think maybe three in total, actually. But anyways, uh, yeah, they actually tell you uh, on them train kills and who they've even killed. <laughs> Great for co-op games, I guess, where, you know, my buddy got killed by a train how many times? And it shows, like, you know, that train is, like, a special train at that point. You, you put him in a museum of, you know, huh, the guys that killed you. Okay. Let's go ahead and dump this in here. So what I was thinking here is, um, so we got that stuff going. What were we going to do here? So you're doing that fine. Okay, the sulfuric acid's doing fine. Oh, yes, productivity modules. Yeah, I was going to be lazy and not bother with these, but maybe we should. So maybe we'll break up the uh, nuclear up a bit and uh, 
do another episode on that. I'm sorry. I know I'm evil, but uh, only if I could cut that beginning part now, huh? But uh, yeah, the productivity modules is kind of important. So it's all circuit based too, right? So it's a very easy one, batteries and productivity. So it's not actually a hard setup at all. Um, but you're going to have to scale them. If Well, you don't have to scale them, but obviously if you want to scale them, you could. So you need uh, three of the ones before. So let's just say you make three of these and then one of these, right? And then this one takes eight seconds, but you need three of those as well. So basically you need uh, six, three, one. I would say is probably roughly the ratio you're going for. Six, three, one. I'm just going to try that and see how bad this is and uh, go with that. So let's see here. Give me a moment here. Okay, so checking out the ratios and not, you know, doing the best math. It seems like 532 is sort of the sweet spot. So um, five of these and then basically three of these guys. Actually, I wonder if I can do. Oh, I didn't think of this till now, actually. I guess I could do it that way. There's two. Oh, no, this would be out, out of balance anyways. I'll probably just do them separate. But anyways, um, five. Yeah, I'm trying to think how I would do this. So here, let's do the three for first. So if you do three like this, maybe you have to squish them up. And then you have two like this, right? So that works out. And then you have to. Yeah, this is the part where it might not work as well. So you got. Uh, yeah. You can't get five in there. That's four, right? So I guess you could do this. Um, one, two. Oh, here we go. We're going to have the same issue though, right? Two, three, four. I mean, you could spread them out more, but then you're not going to have the equal ratio anyway. So um, I guess that's just how it works. You're just going to be uh, doomed on that. But uh, and it's not even a perfect, you know, one to one, right? It's like... Uh, um, so this can overlap and you can overlap so that works you can overlap and you can overlap so you're still gonna be off the one at this point so maybe I'll do that it is off by like it's like 4.4 or something uh, instead of five so eh, maybe I'll do that actually I could upgrade the speed on those too I don't need them to be uh, that might be a, a good idea too. just gold on that actually maybe that's what I will do I'll just do it like this there we go. Let me try what gold would be like on those. Yeah, actually 2.7 if the math is right here. So that's actually not so bad. So we need more of these electric engines, huh? Now we had a whole stash pile of the electric engines. They were over here. We can grab them this way too. There you go. Oh, that was actually awesome. Right on the bot dot. So there you go. We'll do it this way then for fun. For ratio wise okay now this might not work the best because we might need to uh, you know uh, stretch these out a bit I could always do it like this too right so I can put you in here and then just do double space kind of thing maybe and then double space again so uh, where are you guys here so one two maybe and then maybe that'll work better anyways we'll play around with this so we were going for productivity for fun for the uranium so let's go like that and then we're going to go for productivity too. And then the, the nice thing about this is you can change these to whatever you want later on. So it's not a big deal. And then uh, number three, basically. There you go. And uh, there you go. So they're going to have to take one of each from it. So that's easy. So you can go and uh, you can just go boom. I don't know how to do these yet, but uh, let's go boom, boom, boom. And then you will take from both of these guys. This might be more problematic. We'll see. And then, okay. And then this is going to need red circuits, red circuits, green. Okay, so green circuits can come up here then. So these can be green. Okay. And then red circuits will have to come up in here. This is the only downside because you're going to need it twice, but uh, whatever. Oh, and you need blue circuits. Blue circuits can come here. Oh, but then you can't get blue. So, okay, we'll, we'll play around with it. So we'll just do green circuits here first. So here's our green circuits. Oh, this is actually coming in this way. Oh, this works out for us. So here's your green circuits. Okay, green circuits done. Okay. And then you'll have your red circuits come in. We could... 
You're gonna still have the problem there, though. <laughs> you could do like an in between if you want to. I'll play around with that, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, let's get the red circuits in here now, so I can bring them up here at least. Um, this one's easier, so maybe that wouldn't be so bad. Bring the red circuits in here somehow. So maybe instead I can do this here. Actually, maybe. So you need the red circuits. Red circuits would be easy on that one. Actually, yeah, I have an idea now. Ta-da! So we're gonna go like this instead, from this side, and then we'll bring um, red circuits on this side, and then you need blue, and we can bring blue over here, but then both can go in there. I think this could work. This should work. Sorry. Um, yeah, like this. Okay. And then these will be the red ones. Are these coming up this way too? I think so. Yeah. Okay. That works for us. There you go. So this is your red circuits. And you're going to need... Oh, batteries there, derp. So here's your red circuits for you guys. Um, the batteries are going to have to... Okay, well, I have an idea still for that. That's fine. Um, so let's go here for you guys and you and you. And then we'll just come down the side here. There you go. <laughs> a little silly, but it should work. So there you go. So there you go. So you got your... Oh, crap. How do you get your blue now that that's in the way? You don't, do you? I have a better idea. We'll still do... Actually, yeah, we can do this way, but we'll spring blue in here. And uh, we'll shove them in here somehow. So let's go over here. And we'll break you guys open here. There we go. And then maybe we'll do the old fashioned split the belt thing here then instead. I think that'll work better. When I move too fast, it's hard to control my movements on the belts like that. Okay, there you go. That'll work better, I think. Okay. I had creative ideas. It kind of failed on some of them, but that should help at least. Okay. And then you guys will obviously need blues, which we can grab here anyway. So you, there you go. So that'll get your greens. That gets you your reds. Greens, reds, okay. And then you get these inserters over here. And then you have your reds and blues. So red and blue from here. And then you're gonna require both uh, the blues and of course the old ones there and then batteries. So that's not too bad, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, we could probably, the only thing is I would like to put these in a little chest somewhere. Hmm, put them on the outside. I know that's not the right spot, but whatever. Um, I'm trying to make it silly compact, and that's my problem, right? So there's probably much better designs, too, but uh, it's what I've decided. So we can go like this, and then you can actually go down further. So do, do, and just ignore the, yeah, go like this somehow. And actually, I could have gone like this, too. Actually, I don't even have to do this part, to be fair. See, I can do this a bit better than this. Okay, so this goes down like this. Yeah, I can I have an idea. Sorry, and then we go like that. There you go. There you go. And so you can grab your blues here. And then now you just need to get your batteries and uh, just batteries. Yeah, so let me bring the battery somewhere. So where are we going to get ourselves a nice battery? Batteries are being made up here, right? Yeah. And right there. Oh, you're, you're the joint uh, battery coalition here? Okay, so... Let's take your joint battery coalition here. There you go. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, we'll take it down here somewhere. And then we'll bring it in the front there, basically. Whee! There we have it. Oops. So that's actually not so hard, you know. I, I obviously made it harder in my mind, probably, at first, than what it really was, but... Uh, 
There you go. And then you can do your, your you know, fun steel chest if you want over here. Oops. And then uh, we have the belt coming out here, so you guys can output over here. And then you get your inserter to grab from here. And then we should be pretty good, honestly. So um, obviously we want to power all this if you want. I mean, somebody out there might not want it all powered up, but you probably want to power it up. Oh, crap. Oh, you know what? We don't use this often enough. Substations. There you go. Still won't get the substation in a good spot here for all of it, but uh, you definitely hit it in here. There you go. I think that's in the same spot. Yep. There you go. Oh, the substation doesn't... Oh, let's bring it down further then. It's like, let's get it all, right? So, there it is. So that's two out. You can even do it further out. Okay. One, two. Or is that one, one, two, three? Oh, one, okay. So one more, right? There you go. We'll ghost it. There you go. Okay. I think that's equal. Not 100% sure. And then, can we f find a place to hook this up? I don't even know if there's a place to hook it up around here. Doesn't look like it. I'll just pick a spot, like, over here. There you go. And there we have it. So we'll see if I did it right. I more than likely did something wrong, but we'll, we'll figure it out. The good news is, I mean, these will, you know, be a bit weird at first, right? But uh, eventually, these should work out really well. Okay, there we go. I think it's... Oh, yeah, we uh, we, we don't have them inserters coming out quite yet. There you go. We didn't before it even uh, had time to screw up on us. There we go. So there's your productivity module. So that gives you 16... Oh, actually, no, it's more than that. 24 productivity, I guess, for the uranium. So my other thing, I guess it's good because the, all the uraniums... I said it shouldn't be out, but... Uh, I derped up a bit. 45, actually. So we're really good. Um, mostly for the fact... Oh, it's still mining, though. Um, but uh, I derped up a bit because I accidentally uh, ran out of fuel. Because I need to set up fuel up here. So I'll have to do that off camera. W wire some of that fi fuel up here. I guess for somewhere over here, I'll just literally bring it all the way up and over. Or something like that. I just kind of a derp on that. And I thought that was kind of funny. But uh, let's, uh, let's wait a minute here for the productivity ones. And then we'll do that. I noticed I derped up here. Um, I'm just using... So this is my iron setup. Works really well here. Uh, I got this book here. Um, it, what, what was it on? It was a website. Um, let me look up. Uh, Factorio Blueprints. Um, there's there's tons of them anyways. But um, uh, factorioprints.com. And I found it there. And basically, um, it's a book. You can get the strings for it. So a set of blue, uh, red, and yellow. Um for just balancer so this is a three to th uh yeah three to <coughs> excuse me a three to three balancer here so if i go to here i open this book right click and i go to a three to three you'll get the same one here basically which is really cool uh so which i really should probably do did i do it in the middle right there i actually like to match it up just for fun because you know me it's just me being silly more than anything but let me guess you're going to be in the way slightly <laughs> Yeah, you're in the way. Um, I would go here anyways if I want to do it that way, but... Yeah, it goes on the side. Which side did I do? I did it like that. Oh, I see. So I did it that way. Anyways, I can do... Uh, I can break this here. I'm going to have to go in here and get it again. Uh, so here, right click. Uh, three to three. And basically, I think that's how it was. Let me go like that. And you can build it, or you can do this. I get lazy sometimes. I do it this way. So I put the robot port. I write I middle mouse button, so they save the spot. So you can middle mouse button like that if, if I hadn't said that before. But it kind of makes my life a little easier. And then uh, I can just do this. So I can. I know, for example, it's going to be these guys, these guys, and these guys. And they'll just come out and do it all for me. So if I want to get a little lazy, obviously, that works really well for that. And there you go. And then I can go over here and take you out and snip you. And uh, I'll just bring you here. There you go. And then... Oh, I forgot I did that. Oh, crap. There's going to be so much of it in there. Holy crap. 
Yeah, that was accidental. This was for... I accidentally put iron in here, so I wanted to flush out the iron and put it in here. But then I hooked up the copper. <laughs> Whoopsies. So there's a lot of copper in the system now. Uh, so I guess I could go with whatever. We'll just go with you over here. Eventually I'll probably run blue belts as well, but it's not a big deal right now. And then there you go. So you can run uh, even the red guys here, and then you can, you know, bring them up for its future, uh, futureness, I guess, here. So um, I can go ahead and uh, I can even rebalance these further down. I guess I ran out of those. But uh, you get the idea. I won't bother with it right now, but uh, I can fix that up. I also went ahead and upgraded these to red belts. They were yellow belts before, but still, this poor thing is... Uh, takes a lot to make all these circuits. <laughs> all for productivity now. This poor bastard, though, he ain't gonna keep up. I guess I can upgrade those all to yellow. I forgot, yeah, because the circuits are being used for those guys too, right? So... Oh, and these guys too, so... Basically, everything's being eaten up right now, and the reds aren't hardly keeping up for those, so... The, this, the thing is, it's kind of like the end of the line, so I guess this will only fill up once it gets there, so it's not too bad. So there you go, we got 44, but obviously it'll take a while. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I guess I can run some beacons too. Doesn't hurt, right? Okay, let's head over to the mine there, uranium. Here's our silly train, so it has a full load, yep. Yeah. Let's just put some fuel in there be enough to get around for a while. Obviously, I need to go ahead and fix that up and uh, let them load some uh, fuel to those guys after. I see why it runs out of fuel a lot. It's just bouncing around like crazy right now, which makes sense. So, I don't know. You get less out of the beacon, I think. You get, like, some sort of efficiency less out of it. So, I mean, you can obviously put the beacon down and you'll get, you know, something out of it. But it's like, hmm. You go and put the beacon down and... Plus, you could probably set up these better uh, density-wise for this. I was just kind of interested in throwing these in like this. So, um, I did pick those up, right? It would suck if I didn't. They must be in here somewhere, and I just can't see them. Oh, they're there. Oh, yeah, they can't take productivity. Oh, okay, so there you go. Those beacons will be used for something else later on, but they can't. They can only be speed in those, actually, so... That's kind of useless. So, I think you can put them in directly in these, though? Yeah. So, you're going to need quite a bit of them, obviously. But, um, there you go. So, now your productivity should be a little higher. Well, that one's useless because it's already done. This one's already done. Are you even running? It doesn't look like it. No mineable resources. I didn't see the red light, but it must have been on. Oh, there it is. There's a red light on that one, red light on this one, this one. Okay. Okay. So now... Okay, so we're short one, but whatever. We can handcraft it for fun and put it in there. So anyways, uh, so the productivity now on these guys are plus 54%. So that's pretty cool. Look at, like, literally... So, every, you, you get basically every two uranium, you get a, a second one, I guess. Or, or, yeah, third one, sorry. So, that's not bad. That's actually a really nice little feature. And you'll get better version of productivity modules way later on. Um, obviously, way, way later on, but uh, space. Yeah, so, there's productivity module 9. I don't know if it tells you anywhere here, so you might have to, uh, you can go here and look at unlock by and then hover it. So this one will give you uh, a 20% productivity. So imagine putting those in there. That's uh, how many do they hold? That'd be 60%? Actually, oh yeah, 60% plus there's already the 30% uh, on there. So you get 90%, I guess. That's pretty good. So you get productivity 8, 16, and then it'd be 24, and then yeah, it'd be 54. Okay. So you'd get 60, 70, 80, 90. And I, I'm pretty sure that skill actually has, uh, you can put more points into it later for the productivity. So you can actually go like really stupid here later on. Yeah, here you go. I think it's an infinite skill eventually. Yeah, see, infinite. So 
we can do one for space and then one of the other sciences and stuff like that but obviously we can get more in the productivity so we definitely can you know double triple maybe our uranium down the road so even if it's a little low and a little crappy to us we should be able to get a bit more out of it um, obviously you know now I'm doing the productivity they'll be good for the the future uranium ones I set up but the first one meh whatever uh, but uh, yeah that's pretty useful honestly and let's not forget to put our uh, dish up here there we go. So between now and the next episode, I'm going to go and grab this uranium and then I'll also grab the other uranium. I'm going to probably tell this guy to stop stop moving because he's been really annoying. Like literally just stop here. Uh, manual mode. There you go. And just leave him there for now. And because uh, this is full now and he he's just running around like an idiot, right? But I'll set the other ones up and more likely I'll set up my dumping here. So I'll set my... Uh, my, uh, have the, oh, not that one. Where are we? Right here. I'll have my uranium station here to dump the uranium. I'll also do that plates here, the iron plates one we were talking about. So I'll have this guy uh, also deliver iron plates down there. And then the next uh, episode, we'll definitely make our nuclear reactors. I'll do some of the crafting offline. And, uh, yeah, so nuclear reactor next episode. I was hoping this episode, but things were a little longer, which uh, that's fine. It happens. Uh, but uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.